<laughs> Newcastle last night, I promise you, he was in a suit. <laughs> What's happened? I, Not, I, I, like... you, I were in Newcastle. Somebody has to wear some clothes in Newcastle. <laughs> There's a pub across the road, which is an absolute belter. Britain's protection. <laughs> I, I feel I know all of you now. Don't, <laughs> don't tell anybody. I've fallen over in there that many times, I can't remember. I've been barred twice. Go on, <laughs> carry on. It, it used to be either the Prince or the Princess of Wales. It's now called Bar Tap. Talk about a rough hole. The biggest women I've ever seen. They wouldn't have got in this chair. There's four of them. Sat round the table, they've got tattoos everywhere and pints of tetlis. They just sat there. And I've gone to the bar, I thought, hello, this is a bit tasty in here. And, uh, oh, she says, I know you, you're on the radio. I said, well, go on, then who do you think I am? She said, you're Jonathan Agnew, you are, I know who you are. I said, Terrific, yeah, you're really good, you. I thought, thank Christ for that. She could have filled me in, this one. So I've got my phone out. And I pulled Agassiz's number up. That's shocking, and, this. And I, I, give it, I said, take my number down, give me a ring in the morning. <laughs> He's bouncing around the media the centre. Bloody... There's a bloody woman <laughs> been ringing me. <laughs> she, was a, yeah, she was a bit keen, wasn't she? Yeah, she was a bit big and all. <laughs> was we were at, in Perth playing Australia at the Burswood Casino. Why the heck they put us up at Burswood Casino? It, 24 hours. Anyway, I said, you turned up this morning back at the hotel at four o'clock in the morning and you walked straight into the casino. Can you tell me why? He said, I was feeling lucky. <laughs> <laughs> my mother said, we only did it once. <laughs> and then, then she goes off. She said, and we wanted a girl. And my dad used to say, don't keep hitting him with that frying pan. And then she set on my dad with it. <laughs> anyway, Uncle Larry, who was one of my mother's brothers, apparently, my uncle, and he were going through a, an escalating marital skirmish. <laughs> that, <laughs> his missus, Angry Annie, had chucked him out. Mule train! <laughs> He said, I've got to tell your friends, and I mean this most sincerely. The fellow with the tray is not with us this week. He's got concussion. <laughs> <laughs> you used to have the London Palladium. The, the Tiller girls have come on, wouldn't they? Tiller girls have come on dancing. And then he'd be Norman Vaughan swinging, and Bruce Forsyth, all that stuff. They tell you about a novelty act that were on at Hardwick Apollo. They've got this novelty act. It's a bloke that comes on stage with a boxing kangaroo. And it's come on stage and knocked seven bells out of him. <laughs> he keeps it in a cage at the back of the Apollo. He goes out the back of the cage, it's open, it's gone. It's not... He rings Manchester police. He said, and the cage door's open and it's gone. <laughs> Manchester policeman says, can you give us a description? <laughs> <coughs> He says there's a fucking kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bumble. Bumble, Bumble, Bumble. Ladies and gentlemen, David Lloyd. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dear. <sighs>